Sports Geek fam, what's going on, man? This is Antonio Williams from the Sports Geek. I need you to do me a favor. Hit that red button. Like and subscribe to this channel on YouTube because we always drop that hashtag RTO Real Talk only. Again, I got my man Will Cormier here. Does a great job talking about writing about politics and entertainment, but he talks about the fight game. In it, ten toes down. Will, what's going on, man? What's going on? I, so we're going to talk today about Jose Aldo and Pedro Munoz, and they are fighting on UFC 265. That's on the Cyril Gone, Derek Lewis. They're they're on that main card as well. Um, cannot wait to watch this fight. It's going to be interesting because Jose Aldo is one of those guys that we all love. If you are in, entrenched in this game as we are, mm-hmm. you love that guy. And we've seen that guy have some great moments, especially when he was fighting the WEC, man. He feels like one of the and breathe. I think it's him and maybe uh, Anthony Pettis in the professional fight league. That's about it, right? 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 No. Um, dude, the California kid. Uriah Favor. Uriah Favor. Yeah, I, Man. Can't, I forgot his name. It's been a while. But uh, yeah. he was another staple of that of that yes. organization for sure. Yeah, yeah. Benson Henderson, yeah. Mike Brown, Miguel Torres. That was my guy, Miguel Torres. So right. shout out right. Miguel Torres. So yeah. um no, so that they used to scrap. Oh yeah. So I was looking at the um the betting odds for this this Aldo fight. Yep. And the favorite like outcome is that it goes the distance. So you can bet on just that at minus 170. So they're expecting a decision, which is interesting for two guys that are going to be pretty aggressive and, 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 you know, stand up and fight. So right. if a fighter wins inside the distance, so it doesn't, if it doesn't go the distance, they think it's going to Pedro. So he's at plus 265. If, if the fight doesn't go the distance, whereas out is plus 400. Right, I got but it. Then, if you go method and round, the outcome that they're predicting as like the most favorable is that Jose Aldo wins by points. That's uh plus one forty. Where yeah, uh, Minos you know, is, is like plus two two thirty five. It's it's going to be interesting, man. And and I try, I'm trying to go with my my head, not my heart. <laughs> mm. Because I am a Jose Aldo guy. I mean, I remember when you would watch him, how hyped I would get when when that would Rihanna, when that who's going to run this town tonight when that drops. Right. Oh Yeah, (laughs) man, I would get so hyped. And I remember when he fought Uriah Faber and he came out with that. That was in Sacramento. Right. Mm. where, Where Uriah is from. And and Jose came out to that. And it was like, man, this dude is serious. He deal and i feel like to a certain extent the ufc especially if you, if you are a fan of the ufc but you weren't a fan of the wec you didn't see the best jose aldo right yeah. and yeah. right right is for the longest time what 155 was the smallest ufc weight class right it was that was lightweight right yeah and so they right. missed out they brought in so much talent with that uh, with that acquisition but yeah no, that yeah, was his absolutely. prime for sure yeah. No, for sure. For sure. And, you know, this is his what? His his third fight at Bantamweight or fourth fight at Bantamweight? I'll say third. Um, this will be his third. Yeah. He and lost so the I debut know. to Marlon right. Marais. Then uh, that was the controversial. Guy, his, then he lost to the, uh, the dude Piotr whose name Jan. he pronounced better than me. Yeah. <laughs> Piotr Jan. <laughs> <laughs> and then he beat Marlon Vera by a decision. Yes. Yeah, and that so was in December, right? So it, it's interesting to see him, and because I remember when he dropped down, he's ripped, of course. But when he dropped down, people, man, that he doesn't look. This doesn't look healthy. And when he dropped down weight, yeah. and it's kind of reminiscent of um, um, Misha Tate because she came back and she's ripped now. And oh, we nailed that out. one, by the way. We never did a follow up on that video. We yeah. nailed that video. Nailed that one, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. So, but. Um, but yeah, um, Misha Tate came back and when her return to the octagon, she was ripped and she was always in great shape, but she was ripped as she came back. So, um, you know, so it's going to be interesting to see this um, again. I'm trying to go with my my head, not my heart. But even when I'm going with my heart, my head, 
I'm saying Jose Aldo's going to win this thing. Man. Okay. And I was just, <laughs> you bringing up that Misha Tate fight, something that we noticed then, which is just as true now. As long, like, it feels like Aldo's been in our life forever, right? He's only 34 right. years old. Right. That's insane right. to me. He's, he's done a lot of stuff, man. He's done a lot. Yes. Yes. He's done and a lot. And he's of the stuff. younger of these two fighters, which is crazy. <laughs> which just is by crazy. Two days, but. Right, but still, but still, yeah. you, you know, it'll it'll be interesting um, from Pedro Munoz's uh, perspective because we talk about this right when idols become rivals, mm -hmm. and this is a big, big fight for him. And in and, and the pre-show before we recorded this video, you talked about how what let's say this sports geek fam, my man Will is going to tell you one of his saddest moments being a combat sports fan. Break it down uh, for me, my man. Let's talk the about Conor that. McGregor fight. The Conor McGregor, just because I was saying, like, when we with when we deal with betting, like we do in this in this uh, on this website, you're dealing with probabilities, and sometimes you can do everything right, and just the lowest, you know, you get a bad roll of dice, you get a bad. Sometimes that two percent outcome happens, and then when fight game with such a small sample size, right, that just derails your career, and I mean that. I feel like if he fights Conor McGregor nine time, 19 times out of 20, he doesn't fall for that. He doesn't immediately get caught by that, you know, that retreating right. left hand. But he just, after the injury and all the waiting and that whole crazy press run they did the first right. time, he just, he had been listening to that guy talk for so long that he just wanted to get his hands on him so bad he fought like an idiot. And, you know, and that just... It was one of those heartbreaking moments because, for one, I felt like McGregor didn't really earn a title shot yet. He ended up winning, so, like, he proves you wrong on that front. But, like, usually if you don't have, like, a huge name and a big mouth, a win over Dennis Seaver does not win you a title, a title That's a shot. Point. Like, That's a good point. And then he fights um, the little wrestler dude. Uh, God, my names are bad today. The, he's one of Uriah Hall's training partners. I remember he came in on short notice because he filled in for Aldo. Yes. And so he had yes, been in there like yeah. eight days' notice. So it was just right, like there always right. felt like there was a little stipulation or something helping Connor out. Right. I never felt like we really saw, you know, the real Connor. It's like when people started getting scared of him after that Aldo fight. So, right. Right. It wasn't until yeah. Eddie Alvarez fight that I was really impressed by him. And like he finally kind of won me over with that performance. But like, that was probably his most impressive performance. That of the second Nate Diaz, just because he hung in there and fought him all, you know, all the way through. Right. But, but yeah, that that fight with Aldo, that was definitely the most heartbreaking, probably moment in like my MMA fandom. Either that or that, seeing Frank Mir get pounded out by Ian the Machine Freeman. Right. The, right. The brawl at Royal Albert Hall way back in the day. <laughs> way back. Right. Right. You're taking us back. I referenced that about coming in with that type of emotion, because, again, when idols become rivals, mm. how, what type of emotion does Pedro Munoz come in when he faces one of his idols? One it's of so his weird to be the theory. older guy and have the, and the younger guys your idol. Right. But, right. Well, the other guy that was his idol was uh, Frankie Edgar, and then he ended up losing that decision. That was so, the other guy he named as the... Is one of his two big influences, so. right? And, and I can see why, because both of those guys are huge in the game, man. Heavy in mm -hmm. the game, they th both of those guys did a lot of work in the game. So it will be interesting to me to see how this, fight, especially when we start out, what type of nerves are there? Nerves for Pedro Munoz? Is there a a sense of being in awe? Because as we know in this game, it's one of the things. Let me say this really quick. It's one of the things I like about Allen Iverson. Okay. When people say, oh, he disrespected Jordan. No, you don't know because you didn't step in between those lines before. Oh, he, he did not disrespect up. Jordan. Yes. What he said was when we go to battle, when we start playing, the respect and the fandom has to go out of the window. That's yeah, what you're he getting said. my best. It would be disrespectful not to give your idol your best. That's exactly right. Yeah, but people yeah. that haven't competed don't understand that. I'm pulling cards right here, sports, fan, uh, sports uh, geek fam. I'm pulling somebody's car. So, right. yeah, so I think this is going to lead towards the. So, we're going off of bet online's betting odds. Here's where I'm leaning to. If it doesn't go the distance, I'm saying Pedro wins this at plus 265. Right. right. Or Aldo by points at plus 140. But I don't think Aldo's going to stop him. 
I'm going. I'm going to say he's going to go to distance, and Aldo's going to win. Okay, plus one. That's what I'm still a nice little return on that. Yes, that's what I'm going with. I'm going with that one. I'll take that one. I guess I'm going. I'm convincing my uh, heart that I'm going with my head, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm convincing my head that I'm going. There's a complicated thing going on here. All right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, my, yeah, favorite. my uh, my heart is like, yeah, that that's a good bet. It's, it's making me feel like I'm smart. <laughs> okay. okay. So that's where we're going. Jose Aldo, my guy, you got to do it. Who's going to run this town tonight? Sports Geek fam, this is how you run this town tonight. Hit that subscribe button. Continue to watch this great content. Read my man Will on that entertainment and politics tip. We'll be back soon. We appreciate you. All right. All right.